Okay, we're talking about isotopes, and I'll start off with hydrogen as an example. Hydrogen can exist in three forms. The first one we've, we've talked about. We have a single proton in the nucleus with an electron circling it, or an electron around it. And this is what we would call ordinary hydrogen. There's another form of hydrogen, though, and it's called deuterium. And it has a proton and a neutron in the nucleus and a single electron around it. So you can imagine it looking something like this. And this is called deuterium. That's D-E-U-T-E-R-I-U-M. Or it's sometimes called heavy hydrogen. And that's a good name for it because it really is heavy compared to regular hydrogen because it has this extra mass of the neutron. It's approximately twice as heavy as regular hydrogen because the, the proton and the neutron, remember, uh, have approximately the same mass. The electron is really, really tiny compared to the other particles. So the electron doesn't contribute much to the overall weight of the hydrogen atom, but adding this extra neutron in there essentially doubles its mass. So it has the heavy hydrogen has a mass number of two, although it still has an atomic number of one. Chemically, it still behaves like ordinary hydrogen. You could bond it with oxygen, for example, and form what's called heavy water. So in other words, you could have an oxygen molecule, or a water molecule, where you had an oxygen atom and two hydrogens, but these hydrogens here could be heavy hydrogens and you'd have a different form of water that they call heavy water that would actually be a little bit heavier than regular water because it has these extra neutrons inside the hydrogen atoms and heavy water isn't particularly dangerous although it is used in the manufacturing of other radioactive elements which are dangerous and then there's a third form of hydrogen called tritium and tritium has a proton and two neutrons in the nucleus. There's still a single electron going around, but now we have a mass number of three. And tritium is a dangerous substance. It's radioactive. I'll make a note of that. And we'll talk more about this, what this means later on. But, but basically, it means the nucleus can break apart. Tritium is not going to last forever. In, in a given day, it has a certain probability of decaying. And that's breaking apart, and the nucleus breaks up, and um, particles come flying out, and energy comes flying out. And that's what, why it's called radioactive, because this radiation is actively emitted from it. And the radiation can be harmful. It can mess up, can damage your cells, it can damage your DNA, it can end up causing cancer or other problems. The, um, the deuterium is not radioactive. So it's what we would call stable. It doesn't decay into the radiation. It just remains stable. But the tritium is radioactive. If you were to make some heavy, heavy water out of tritium, in other words, if you were to take a an oxygen molecule and instead of the hydrogen molecules here if these two hydrogens in your H2O were in fact tritium molecules it's um it is dangerous you wouldn't want to drink that it can harm you or um or even you don't you don't even want to get it on you because it can cause damage to you but you can make water like this if you have some tritium it will bond with oxygen to form a water molecule all three of these uh, forms of hydrogen have very similar chemical properties because they have the same number of protons in the in the nucleus and specifically the same number of electrons around the outside of the nucleus and it's really the electrons in the arrangement of the electrons on the outside of the atom that determine its interaction with other atoms so because these all have a single electron around the nucleus they all behave chemically in similar ways and they will interact with other atoms in similar ways and these three forms of hydrogen are called three isotopes of hydrogen and that's the term to know an isotope of an atom is just a form of that atom 
and different isotopes have different numbers of neutrons in the nucleus.